an indisputable exclusive. According to a couple, a man sexually harassed a woman and nothing happened because he is a police officer. We have the full story at indisputable. Let me first take you to this video. Here it is. No, I'm recording it. Tell me what he's being arrested for right now. So you let you let you, Officer Mustafa, you let a guy grope my vagina while they kicked him out of the pool. You let a guy, you let another guy attack him. I knew he was racist from the beginning. That's what I told you. I told you exactly what was gonna happen before you came. You're not gonna Stop. you're not gonna touch me. Help! 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 I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting, they're not stripping resisting. me. What am I being arrested for? Help! My baby's no. not resisting. I'm right here, I'm walking with my handcuffs. What am I even being my arrested baby's not for? Resisting. Hey, my baby's not resisting. She's not resisting. I'm not hey, resisting. We're not resisting, we're not resisting, baby. Hey, we're right here. No, right I'm here. Right here, baby. Right here. Hey, I love you, we're not resisting. Ouch, he's breaking hey. my- We're going to jail. Oh my God. Baby, baby, come on. This is a tragedy. Put up the picture of the couple. According to the couple, the woman was sexually assaulted at an establishment. She reports the assault to the management, front desk, clerk, etc. They inform her, somebody informs her, well, the person who did that to you is a police officer. They kicked him out. They still push the issue. Something needs to be done. We need a police report. Police arrive and who do they lock up? They lock up the couple who claimed a crime happened against them. A couple on a short vacation in Galveston, Texas, say a guest sexually assaulted the wife. Then they were further brutalized by hotel staff and police when they complained. Now, you're looking at Ify Green Jimenez and Ricky. They were both arrested on March 28th, 2021 at the San Luis Resort in Galveston, Texas. Ricky and his soon to be wife visited the resort on the evening of March 27th. They checked in before midnight. After getting unpacked, went downstairs to the pool for dinner. All of this is very normal stuff. If he told Indisputable directly, and I quote, that used to be my favorite place. I used to go there for work, and I still just fell in love with it. So I would go a few times a year, and that was my husband and I's first time going there on a date. Let's look at the resort. Beautiful. All right, it's a beautiful place. It's a very nice, you know, place to vacation. A guest at a poolside cabana, who Green Jimenez says the bartender later identified as a police officer, offered the young couple extra shots as he purchased. Next, the couple went swimming. All right. Excerpts of a Galveston Police Department report says that Ify had four drinks and a shot offered to her at the bar. That's the excerpt from the report. Ify, however, disputes the report. We have a lot more information. She says, and I quote to Indisputable Investigates, no, we did not have that much to drink. The guy told my husband their friends didn't come down to the pool and they had extra drinks and they gave my husband and I each one drink. And we couldn't be drinking all day because of work. We had the kids that day and then drove from Houston to Galveston. We had just arrived, is her quote. In the pool, if he says the man who offered the couple drinks swam up behind her and grabbed her private parts. When if he screamed out of shock, she says the hotel staff ejected the attacker. The hotel manager then offered to comp their food, their drinks, their expenses. That's what you do. You've been harassed at a, at a hotel. But if he demanded the police, she wanted to make a report. She says hotel security led by Gavison chief deputy, let's put him up. Uh, Constable um, Hassan Mustafa ordered the couple 
to their room, ordered them to the room. Contrary to what the Jimenez say, uh, says in the Galveston Police Depart uh, uh, Department report, Constable Mustafa told police the bartender could not identify the man who sexually assaulted Ify. Now that's contrary to what was told to Ify. But the report includes a detailed description. Let's, it's a white male, six foot tall, 120 to 160 pounds, blue or green swim trunks, unidentifiable tattoos. The couple also says the police did not talk to a woman who was the attacker. When they resisted leaving the area saying they had every right to be there, they were arrested. During her arrest, if he says her arms were bruised, she fell unconscious in police custody because she was in such shock and disbelief she was being arrested after being assaulted. Later, she was admitted to the hospital. Let's put up the hospital records we have. Obviously, we redacted certain information for identity reasons. If he said her private parts were scratched, bruised, swollen, and bleeding. This was not just a simple attack. This was an attack based on the narrative of the victim. Her medical paperwork from a day after the incident reads, and I quote, diagnosis, sexual assault of an adult, initial encounter. Initial encounter means stranger. That's what that means. Initial encounter, contusions of pelvic region, and a stress reaction. Neither if he nor her husband were charged or prosecuted after their arrest. So what was that arrest about? Okay, there's more. A representative of the resort, of the resort responded to Indisputable's request for a comment. Here's the response. The resort has reviewed the handling of this matter, including all of its policies and procedures, and is highly confident that all actions taken were appropriate. Moreover, the matter was referred to the Galveston Police Department. And we understand was fully investigated by the police without any further action being taken. We recommend that any individual questions or, or additional questions or further details be directed or obtained <clears throat> from the Galveston Police Department. Wow, no mention of how they protect their guests, no illumination of the facts, no corroboration, but they also did not deny that it happened. There's more. Uh, so they forwarded the complaint um, she sent to Constable James Fuller on March 29th, the day after the alleged assault. There it is. There's a strong paper trail with all of this. Because the statement was not signed, right? Because the statement was not signed, the, the uh, constable, the investigator, told Indisputable it was not investigated because she didn't sign it. It was not investigated as an official complaint against a deputy chief constable known as Mustafa. However, Constable Fullen said he did investigate the incident. I'm about to show you something. Green Jimenez says Galveston police gave her the runaround because she believes they did not want to investigate a fellow officer. She showed indisputable, ignored emails from the police. Put it up. We've attempted to go to therapy together, but we've had trouble. He feels bad because he feels like he should have protected me. And I feel bad because I feel like I could have done something to prevent it. Those are both narratives that neither one of them should feel. I barely leave the house because I just don't wanna go places anymore. That's called depression. Gavison Police Department spokesperson, Derek Gasper said he could offer no comments at the moment but would release their police report. Who gives a damn about a lying ass police report? Let's put up the guy in charge. Once again, same cop we covered last week for something else. Since speaking with us, Ify Green Jimenez has showed indisputable a signed complaint against Chief Deputy Hassan Mustafa that she sent to the Galveston Constable's office. Here is the police chief, Doug Bali. Doug was placed on leave last week for a separate incident that Indisputable reported. After his officers raided a teen's home in a murder investigation, prosecutors determined the police evidence was insufficient and released the teen. He was suspended for that operation. Okay, 
So we have now told you exactly what the narrative is from the individuals involved. We have reached out to every entity. We are awaiting a proper response from the police. Now, to the officers, I'm not letting the damn thing go. So understand this, this will not blow over with time. Mayor, thoughts here. I'm I'm baffled at the inconsistencies of what happened. The idea that the, the, the police, uh, the constable's first response was the, bar, the bartender couldn't identify the man. What about the staff that kicked him out of the pool? You, you kicked them out of the pool for a reason. Why can't you identify who you kicked out of the pool? This is absolutely disgusting. This is also absolutely police cover up uh, in its worst way. Uh, the idea that you lock these people up, you demand they go to their room and then you don't charge them with anything. This is a scare tactic to say shut up uh, and don't even come back with this. Uh, I, I think what's disgusting though, is what this man and his wife are going through at this moment. Her being depressed, not leaving the house. Her having to deal with this for the rest of her life. And once again, we see black and brown people not protected by these institutions. Instead, they're victimized. And this level of victimization goes a step further to sexual assault in a public space. Yep. All right, we will continue to follow it.